morning. Are you finding holes in your front grass? Look like something tearing it up, digging holes. Do you come out in the morning, find the mulch in your beds thrown into your grass? <laughs> I guarantee you, you got armadillos and you probably have grubs to go along with it. I'll show you some damage today, talk about how to solve it. So hold on one sec. So the first thing I'm gonna do <laughs> is I'm gonna put up secret security footage of an armadillo crossing my driveway at night. That's him crossing the driveway. So he'd come back from the woods over here somewhere, come across the driveway, and he actually goes into my flower beds. He digs inside the mulch, and every so often, and every so often I'll see this mulch thrown into my grass because I know he's in here digging. But I'm also going to take you over to Sarah's real quick and let me show you Sarah's lawn. So can you see it? So her lawn is completely fried. It's burned out. There's no water. But look at this here. See this? See that right there? That's armadillo damage. That's grubs. And it's all like that in here. Look at it, it's horrible, this whole front yard. So here. And that's what they can do. That is bad here. Really bad. Really, really, really bad. Look at that. Look how deep that hole is right there. So. Okay, so if you want to get rid of armadillos, you basically need a gun. <laughs> and I'll link in the description below to the best high power rifle. No, just joking. It's almost impossible to get rid of armadillos because they live usually hidden somewhere in the woods or something. So. Well, what you need to do is you need to eliminate what's causing them to make the damage, which is usually two things. Number one, it's usually grubs in the lawn. And if they're in the flower beds, it's either grubs or earthworms. Those are the two things I've found. So in the description below, I'm going to link to the double kill product. And that's what I'm using today. It's the best thing I've found. Not only will it take care of a huge amount of regular insects, like earwigs and centipedes and that kind of thing that you often have in your flower beds, but it'll also, it won't eliminate earthworms and that's something you don't really wanna do, but it'll reduce the population down and that's what I found. So we're gonna break this video into two parts. I wanna break it down into the uh, mulch part, how I treat my mulch and then how I treat my lawn. So the double kill product, it's a DG product and it's a multiple product. It's an over under, it kills insects on the top and then it works down and it kills grubs down below. And there aren't many products, if any, that are, can do that. Plus, it's in the DG particle, which I'll explain here in a minute. So it'll reduce the number of earthworms in an area. If you have a huge population, which I do in my, um, in my mulch, I have a huge population of earthworms. And that needs to come down a little bit. Um, but if you have lawn damage, it's going to almost always 99% of the time it's going to be grubs and they're going to be digging grubs and this time of the year depending on your area when you're at the end of summer and into fall when temperatures start to low 90s to 80s that's when your grubs are going to be real strong and you need to treat for it the other thing is is don't forget this product needs to be moved down to the grubs which are two or three inches down so it needs a lot of water, a lot of water. So I had one person say, hey, I did the double kill treatment and I still have it. And I said, well, it takes time and it takes a lot of water. Go back out, do a second treatment and really water it down, water it down, water it down really heavy. You gotta reach it. So again, like I said, two parts, we'll do the mulch and we'll do the lawn stuff. All right, so when it comes to uh, your flower beds, it could be grubs. I have a few grubs in there, but it's probably earthworms too. This area is just infested with earthworms. There's probably a good chance. <laughs> Look like a snake. There's probably a good chance that he's in there eating earthworms too. So 
but the problem is that you know I got anywhere from four to six inches of mulch here there's no way for the double kill product to reach down to the earthworms or the grubs so I've got to I've got to turn this anyways I like to turn my mulch in the fall and so what I'm doing is I'm removing a section I'll put down the double kill I'll water it and then I'll return the um, the mulch back I'm just pulling out an area here putting it into the wheelbarrow and then I'll come by with a double kill product you can see here this place is loaded with earthworms and I am finding a few grubs but I think he's digging up earthworms over here look at them all it's just infested while you're in here if you have real hard clay soil you can also do a little tilling and let some of that mulch mix in with the soil and you'll actually start to have some really good soil over the years if you do that little trick And now these particles, the DG particles, will start to break down immediately. And I leave them about one to two minutes. And then I'll come in and I'll wet it some more. Again, if you got three or four inches of mulch, it's not going to get down through there. And that's the problem with a lot of chemicals for the lawn, is that a lot of those chemicals get hung up in your thatch layer. If you got grubs and your grubs are two to three inches down minimum, you got to work it down, work it down, work it down. You got to put it out pretty heavy. Right. So there's the wet particle. <clears throat> Let me get the hose and show you what happens. Particles just turn into dust, basically. So the particles basically just turn into dust. The particles are gone, and now they're going to sink down into the soil and penetrate it. Now one thing I do like to do at this point is I'll put a little more double kill on top. Don't forget I've stirred up that mulch and I could be bringing up bugs and insects. Um, earwigs, sometimes you see a lot of earwigs in here. Uh, what else? All kinds of little crap. So I'll just sprinkle a little more on there and then I'll just wet it down again. So that project's done. That's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Gosh, it's like a two hour project. Pulling out most of this mulch, doing all that treatment, putting it back, so. Well, unfortunately, I don't think I have enough uh, double kill left to do Sarah's. Because I gotta put my last treatment down. Uh, this last treatment, when the temperature is finally dip into the 80s, the 70s, 80s, I like to put down one more treatment of the double kill. If there's any army worms, any grubs. Remember the grubs are gonna be at their final stage pretty soon, transforming into their wintering little shells. Again, I'll put a link to the double kill. I'll also put a link to the spreader. If you didn't see my lime video, <laughs> you gotta have this spreader if you're putting out lime. But uh, anyways, I'm at least gonna do my front and then I'll see what I can cover out back. One thing to watch for on this spreader, which is really nice, is the fact that it's anywhere from, depending on your speed, how fast you're going, it's anywhere from an eight foot to like a 12 foot throw pattern. So I've just, I've only have to go, I only have to go one, two, and three passes on my front and I'm done. That's why I love this thing, it's fast, it's really fast.
All right, so let me explain. The best way to use a DG product, a DG product once it's wet, if you let it sit there for about one to two minutes, it'll automatically break down and then you can sort of spray it into the ground. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna do a quick run out here, pull up my app. Um, I'm gonna go to my calendar. I have all my schedules on pause. I just use them as manual. So I've got a quick front and then quick run. And now my sprinkler should come on. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let these run. I'll let these sprinklers run. This is just a short cycle. It's probably about a 11 minute cycle and I'll let it run and that'll get all the DG particles wet. Then what I'll do is I'll go back with a hose on a sort of a blaster setting and I just go by and I just blast it down into the ground. You don't have to do that. You can just let rain take care of it, but I'm kind of on a time crunch here because if I want this treatment to be effective, I really want it in while I still have a few days that are hitting the 80s before the grubs totally go into their pupa or shell stage. Okay, so you can see the fairway project here. It actually looks really good. Actually was out here hitting golf balls the other day. <laughs> um, I've cut this probably, now we've scalped it down to dirt and then put PGF Complete Super Juice. And we, had, we caught about 12 days that were still in the 90s. And so uh, all it's doing now is I'm trying to get it thickened out. I don't know, I, th I don't think it's gonna go much, much thicker, but it looks pretty good. But look at this back here. This was from the quote-unquote storm we had. Look at this mess I gotta clean up. This is all, this is Barb's problem. Barb, come pick up your crap in my yard. <laughs> Look at this mess I gotta clean up. It's just wind blowing pine needles and leaves. So I'm gonna get on my John Deere with a bagger and just bag all this. All right, so that's done. <laughs> At least I got some good pine needle mulch for behind the roses over there. But that fairway cut's looking pretty good. Not great, not thick enough, but it's looking pretty good. Again, what I'm about to do is I'm about to push down. All the DG particles are completely exploded, we'll call it. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push it down to the ground level. You don't have to do this. You can put it out and let the rain handle it, but if you want something to act fast, this is the way you do it, and I figured I'd just show you me doing it. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, um, because my my grass is so thick, I mean, nothing can penetrate it, not even particles like this. So I can actually see the particles sort of sitting on top of the grass and they're all wet and exploded. The same thing happened with the lime, by the way, the other day. And what I had to do is I had to wet it and then I had to blow it down into the ground. So I'm not irrigating right now because it's not sunny, but, uh, I don't have to because I'm doing this kind of light treatment out here. Man, it's just perfect out here today. <laughs> it is 80.5 degrees right now. And I figured I'd go ahead, now that the sun popped out, I figured I'd, I'd go ahead and irrigate the fairway project we're doing back here. Don't forget, we're giving away an $800 edger, end of October, a $2,000 reel mower for Christmas, and then something else in November. Be a YouTube subscriber. And then in the description below, go to, um, go to that web page and you'll see sign up for email alerts. You can sign up for the email alerts. Again, they just notify you whenever I post something. But uh, the double kill product is basically my go-to product now because it takes care of everything. It takes care of ticks, chiggers, armyworms, grubs, everything. So that is my go-to product. <laughs> And like I said, the flower bed stuff, it's tough to do the flower beds. 
because it takes forever to that stuff to work down through that mulch. <clears throat> but this time of year is a good time to turn your mulch. So pull your mulch out, put it in a wheelbarrow, put down DG, wet it, put the mulch back on top, then throw a little bit on top, and you won't have any problems. A lot of people have centipedes, a lot of people have earwigs, um, and it's a great product to deal with that. So anyways, guys, that's about it. Subscribe, do the email alerts, and I'll talk to you later. Done.